What is up, y'all? I'm Andy Story, a professional art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I want to show off a couple of techniques you can use in Photoshop, most specifically the wind filter and Gaussian blur in order to create a really, really cool erosion effect that you can apply to a logo, some typography, or whatever you want. So without further ado, let's dive on in. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get a logo or feel free to type out anything by using the type tool. Today I'm using the font called Berthold Accidents Grotesque. Now let's go ahead and turn that into a smart object by right clicking and then going down to convert to smart object. From here, we're gonna go play around with the wind filter. So go up to filter and then let's go down to stylize and then from stylize, go to wind. And as you can see in the little window, that's what the effect is going to do to our type. So make sure you are on blast and then the direction from the right, hit OK. Awesome, looks pretty cool. However, we're gonna do this about 20 more times so that we get that effect to go all the way through the lettering. Go back up to filter and you can just click on wind on the top and that's gonna do the same exact thing we just did and make that erosion even longer. Now, if you wanna use the hotkeys, which I highly advise, you can just go ahead and hit control, command, and F and then hit okay. And now do this a bunch of times until you like what you're seeing. All right. So that was 20 times. And from here, we're gonna change the blend mode from normal to dissolve. And what that's gonna do is basically pixelate our typography. And now we can take it a step further by using a blur, which will further erode and make the effect even cooler. So let's go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then you can play around with the strength of, a, of the blur and basically, make your logo however you want it to look. So for this particular one, I kind of like 3.5, so let's rock with that. Pretty awesome, right? But let's say we want to only have the erosion on the edges to the right of every letter. No big deal. So we're gonna go back to our layer and then we're gonna go to the Smart Filter Mask. Now hit B on your keyboard and bring up your brush tool. And then we're going to make sure that we're painting with black and we're gonna paint away the erosion and bring back the letter. And this is just subjective once again. So you can either do this on a couple letters or no letters or, you know, the world is your oyster. Awesome, so I like what we're seeing. However, I do want to make these letters either closer, play around with the sizing and individualize them. To do that, we're gonna make direct copies of each one of these. But before we do, we need to convert this into one more smart object, otherwise it's not gonna work correctly. So hit Command J on your keyboard, and that's gonna make a copy of that layer, and then we're gonna right click and convert that into one more smart object. Now we can use our lasso tool. So hit L on to, create, to bring up your lasso tool, and we're just going to make copies of each of these letters. Now I'm gonna hit Command J, and then I'm gonna hide the below layers and you can see what I just did. I just made a copy of that F. And we're just going to repeat that three more times. Making sure that you're on the smart object layer, otherwise the command J is not gonna work and make a copy. And like that, we have individual letters that we can move around and place where we need to place them. Now, if you guys have learned anything up to this point, please do me a big favor and help this algorithm out by hitting the like button. And if you're digging what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and mess around with the spacing. The other cool thing is you can add some texture to your background, and I like to pull textures from Envato.com because they have an amazing business where you can download as many stock images, video, or even music for your projects, and it's all coming with licenses, and it's unlimited downloads. So go check them out, and if you do use the link below in the description, we get a little something something which helps keep this channel moving forward. Now let's say you want to add some color. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can either add a solid color adjustment layer on top and then hit option command G 
and that will attach that color to your logo. Or you can start messing around with gradient maps. So go to your adjustment layers, gradient maps, and then from here, just make sure that you have a couple gradients or maps in your gradient map section and play around until you see something you like.